as U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump battle for the White House in the U.S. election, Canadians are watching closely, eager to understand how each administration's policies may impact Canada. No matter who takes office south of the border, experts say Canada could be impacted in different ways. Starting with trade, Harris would likely support trade relations but might push for higher labour standards. Former Canadian ambassador to the U.S. David McNaughton says a Trump administration may bring a more transactional approach. Trump is talking about more tax cuts and um, and says that he's going to also pay down debt by raising tariffs. Um, you know, that, that will simply, one way or the other, increase inflation. When it comes to climate, Trump's support for fossil fuels could benefit Canada's oil sector, while Harris would likely align on climate initiatives. Whether it's, say, new regulations on vehicles or tax breaks on electric vehicles or incentives for solar power or wind power, those things one might expect would be more likely under a Harris administration, especially given Trump's um, opposition to wind power. But if Harris is elected, it's highly unlikely that she's going to enjoy Democratic majorities in both the Senate and the House. Border policies may shift too. Under a Harris administration, cross-border travel could be smoother with eased restrictions. Experts say Trump's stricter immigration stance could bring a more rigorous process. With the Trump administration, there might be some issues with, um, especially with like permanent residents in Canada from other countries, um, not necessarily being able to easily access the U.S., but generally, right, the crackdown that Donald Trump promises on immigration uh, shouldn't even affect that very much. In the end, whether it's Trump or Harris that takes office, McNaughton says Canada will have to adapt to keep the partnership strong. It's it's a very close relationship, unlike any two countries in the world, I think. And I think that it presents some challenges for us, but it also presents some great opportunities. The Canada-United States-Mexico agreement, also known as Kuzma, is up for review in 2026. Whoever ends up in office will also play a key role in shaping Kuzma's future. In Toronto, Catalina Gillies, City News.